Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to see like six different Excel functions that comes really handy for your day-to-day -day, uh, living. This could be like really cool if you have to like use it on your uh, works or if in your school grades or in any of your day-to-day uh, -day life. So the first function that I'm going to use in this is going to be your uh, if condition. So you could see here if I'm having a data set of uh, student records and you wanted to uh, rate them with uh, the uh, ratings if it's a pass or a fail and um, if it is over uh, 50 or 100 records I could use a simple if condition I'm going to do a logical test there where I'm going to give uh, if the score value is uh, greater than um, 35 then I write a condition there as pass or if the value is like uh, over uh, 80 then I write the condition as uh, like uh, a plus or I write a condition there as uh, fail if the value is like less than 40 so just drag it it automatically fills up into this so this is a very cool condition you could use it for uh, all your uh, use case scenarios and uh, write the value as like greater than or equal to so that uh, it gives you the exact value so the next function which i'm going to use is going to be like uh, sum if function comes really useful when you have to calculate up uh, sales values or across different stores you have like more data and you wanted to calculate individual score record of everyone so at conditions like this i'm going to use the sum of function so here i'm going to calculate uh, the uh, sales that has happened in uh, the east region alone so there i'm going to write the sum of condition i chose the region values followed by the sales amount so there i'm getting the total sales which has happened only in the east section of my uh, business now I'm going to be more specific here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate all of those uh, uh, sales of television that has happened in the East uh, Zone stores. So what I'm going to write is I'm going to use another condition here where uh, it is going to be um, the same if condition. Here instead of sum if I'm going to use a different function here which is sum ifs. So what that does is I'm going to take it as sum ifs. So here I'm going to take the same sum range. So that's going to be my sales amount cell followed by the criteria. So in the criteria, I'm going to choose my uh, region. That's going to be my first criteria. Then in the second criteria range, I'm going to choose my um, value of uh, items. So that's going to be my second. So there I'm going to choose this value of television. So this will calculate and throw up the values of uh, sum from the uh, east as well as the television, which is going to be the item. So that's how it's going to like, calculate for me. So the sum of function comes really um, cool if you have to calculate up uh, uh, stores values or like sales across different stores. The third function that I'm going to use here is going to be a sort function. You've got like a list of employees and if you wanted to sort out their salaries and you have to find out uh, like uh, who is uh, having a higher salary here from this list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sort function here and I choose my data set, complete data set here. Then followed by what I'm going to do is I'm going to order them according to their salary. So here I'm going to write uh, ascending. So what this ascending or descending does is I'll be able to see the uh, salary of employees uh, depending on their uh, hierarchy. You'll be able to see like who is getting paid here. Ignore this the number that's shown up here. That's because the date format has got converted into the number format. You can ignore this. And you could see the values are getting changed here automatically and it gets sorted up uh, depending on your uh, um, the values whatever is uh, higher or lower. Here I'm going to use a sort by function. I select this value, the, both the cells, I'm going to select the name as well as the salary, followed by I'm going to write a condition there, which is going to be my ascending or descending, whatever it is. I'm going to write here as minus one. So now it writes up all the names that are uh, depending on their uh, values of salaries, which is uh, uh, from the uh, ascending to the descending. When I change the value to plus one, it writes from uh, descending to ascending or vice versa. That's how it does. So the sort by function comes really um, cool and handy. The next function that we are going to use here is the unique function. This is again a cool function which comes really handy for your day-to-day -day work. So what I'm going to do is I'm writing unique followed by I'm going to choose uh, the range of uh, data array. That's what the function actually says. So I'm going to choose my data array, whatever I'm having here. So that's going to be my entire item. So here I'm choosing my item list, which is going to be my television and home theaters and stuff. I'm going to write a condition here if it is a true or a false condition. So if that value is like false, instead of uh, returning up all the items from this data set, I'll be able to find out only that specific items. If you're having like a big uh, departmental store, you've got 100 items and you want to just find out only the list of main items, you can just use this unique function here. Then the next function that I'm going to use is the filter function. So that filter function will again help me to filter out a list of uh, staff along with their uh, salaries. So here I'm going to chase uh, their uh, yearly salaries, both the columns have been chosen here. 
and I'm writing a condition here, show up salaries of employees who are over 500,000 or who is over 100,000. So that uh, throws me the results only of them. I'll be able to change again uh, the value at the main uh, parameter area. So it automatically shows up that condition. If you wanted to see people who are exactly in the right package, let's say for example, 100 or 200,000, I'm going to replace the greater than with an equal to as well, greater than or equal to, followed by their value, it automatically throws up the exact numbers as well. The last function that we're going to use here is the sequence function. The sequence function is a really cool function here. And uh, you could see that uh, when I'm choosing the sequence of 20, it automatically adds up the auto numbering system in this. So you can do this uh, for this entire data set. Or if you want to use it for a specific data set, select that data set alone and then just um, give your sequence function to the very first cell value. And uh, you'll be able to see, use the function here as count A. The count A will automatically add up uh, sequential numbers to it. When you just press count A and you just choose the uh, data set here, I'm choosing the salesman. When I press enter, it automatically adds up to the entire data set, whatever has been copied. I'm going to use the sequence function here again, the same count A, and I'm going to choose my entire column. So it will automatically add up the entire set of columns, irrespective of whatever data is there in this. I've chosen the entire column here L. So that's the name of my column. So followed by L colon L will automatically add up auto numbers to it. So when you press enter, automatically a number gets added into it. So these are the six functions which we saw in this today's video. If you have any other functions which comes really uh, handy to you, please do leave them in the comments as well. I would love to see like what functions you guys have been using. These are the functions which I use in my day-to-day -day life expense and if you like these kind of videos uh, do leave your comments below and share this video with your friends see you in the next video thank you